safe on home soil. The last two journalists working for Australian media in China have been evacuated for their own safety. It's so good to be home, so happy. I can't say any more at the moment, but it's such a relief to be home, so really happy. Thank you. The two correspondents had been questioned by police and banned from leaving. After four days sheltered in Australian embassies, diplomats negotiated their safe exit. I'll just say it's uh, very disappointing to, uh, to have to leave under those circumstances and um, it's a relief to be back in a country with genuine rule of law. But, uh, yeah, it's, this was a whirlwind and it's not kind of, it's, it's not a particularly good experience. The pair were reportedly told they were persons of interest in the investigation into Australian news anchor Chung Lei, who was detained in China last month. As relations between China and Australia continue to deteriorate over trade, espionage, Hong Kong and COVID-19, Human Rights Watch fears Chung Lei is being held as a bargaining chip in what's been dubbed hostage diplomacy. Well, look, having brought Bill home, having taken that step backwards just for the time being, uh, we'll get straight back on the front foot and be seeking to put correspondence uh, back there, you know, knowing that we've got some assessments to do around the information that's available to us. Uh, you know, we want to know that it's safe to uh, be doing our job in China, but we think it's an absolutely crucial place for us to be reporting from. Since July, the Australian government has warned its citizens not to travel to China or risk arbitrary detention. So while the two reporters are relieved to be home, fears for other Australian journalists working for foreign media in China are just ramping up. Liz Maddock, TRT World.